So we see a bearish reaction today right before the holiday, which suggests a top signal. Just as the indices reach their resistance levels and the SPY renews its all-time high this week. Now, in this scenario, a correction makes sense. It would not be surprising and it definitely would not be the end of the world. In fact, a correction could even open up new opportunities for us. So let's talk about the market's main turning points and what to expect next. All the ideas described in this video are based on technical and statistical analysis. None of the following analysis are based on opinions or assumptions, but rather on facts. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. It's a pleasure to see you guys over here. Now, as we can see, SPY is trying to make a top signal right below a crystal clear resistance level made by the $600, which is not only a psychological resistance level because we all know the market has a thing for round numbers, but it is also the previous top level from November 11. Okay, so seeing a bearish reaction below this resistance level is indeed something to worry. Now, Nathan, how dangerous is this reaction? Because this could be a top signal, right? Yes, it could. However, we have yet to lose a few support levels, namely today's low, all right? Because today's, today we see a bearish reaction, but one single bearish candlestick is not enough to trigger a pullback or a correction on the daily chart. We gotta see the SPY losing today's low, which co coincidence or not, is precisely where the 21 hour EMA is. This blue dynamic support line, which is right now acting as a support level for the SPY today. So we still see SPY short term wise above a few support levels. If we lose the moving average on the one hour chart, if we lose today's low on the daily chart, then all right, we will probably materialize a sharper correction to our next support levels like the 21 day EMA over here. All right, but so far we see a bearish reaction. Is this a top signal? It could be. It really could be. So let's pay attention to the key support levels. I just mentioned it right here, right now, so you can understand how to proceed next in this scenario. Now, Nathan, what if the spy, what if the spy materializes another bullish candlestick pattern closing above the $600? In this scenario, spy is going to trigger another, another higher high, higher low. Right, because SPY is, is in a bull trend, is in an uptrend, making higher highs, higher lows by breaking and closing above the previous top level, SPY is going to trigger another bullish pivot point, reinforcing the upwards momentum, seeking higher levels. But we do not see technical evidence suggesting this scenario yet. So far, we see a bearish reaction, which again, suggests a top signal. If we lose our key short-term support levels, this pullback will most likely materialize. In this scenario, the 21-day EMA is going to be our next stop. Any bullish reaction above the daily moving average or maybe even above the 586 could be just another buying opportunity. All right, so this is why Guys, since the SPY is still in a bull trend, we are going to seek for buying opportunities near a clear support level because that's how we do, right? Traders like to optimize their risk reward ratio. And when we see a clear bottom signal above a clear support level is when the risk reward ratio is at its peak. All right. So for now, Let's wait for a pullback because in my honest and humble opinion, SPY is not, is not necessarily a buy right now, but it could be if we see a correction. What if we break the, res the resistance level? Then all right, we're going to just fly and seek higher levels. But for now, I'm not that optimistic on SPY. I, I prefer the QQQ because unlike the SPY, 
QQQ already hit its support levels over here, namely the purple trend line, namely the 21 day EMA, namely the 504 support level, 503 support level, I'm so sorry. So we have multiple, a multiple support area over here. It is quite difficult to see, right? So let me, let me erase a few studies over here to simplify the analysis. Uh, we have a multiple support level around this this area where the qqq is right now okay it is gonna be very difficult for it to lose all of these support levels but if it does okay the trend the mid-term trend seen on the daily chart will probably reverse we are gonna see a sharper correction on the weekly chart okay maybe to the weekly moving average down here around 485 or in the worst case scenario to the support line of this ascending channel we are still bullish we on the weekly chart long term speaking all right therefore this is why i'm telling you guys any sharper correction to our next support levels on spy qqq could could just open up new opportunities not only in the indices but in other stocks as well so let's pay extra attention on how our dear indices are going to behave near their support and resistance levels all right how this is going to affect our stocks for instance nvidia since we see the qqq reacting above a clear support level we also see nvidia reacting above a clear support level after losing this purple trend line after losing the 21 day EMA, we see Nvidia uh, seeking lower support levels. We have the 132, the 130s as a major support level on the daily chart, and a reaction around this area is expected. All right, today's reaction is not that good. It is not an amazing, brilliant support level, but if we see more confirmation in the next few days, Nvidia could easily trigger a bounce to higher levels, maybe to retest the moving average again as our next resistance level, or maybe even the 150s uh, all time high. All right, so that's a very plausible scenario, but so far we gotta see a better reaction in this area because we still could drop a little bit more. Okay, we still could drop in this support area. Okay, so for now, Nvidia is one of the stocks that are on my radar. All right, so I'm watching it very, very closely because any buying opportunity in this scenario would be very interesting because, again, very good risk reward ratio. Nvidia is still bullish on the weekly chart, long term speaking. This is not a bear market, but it is just a pullback on the daily chart. This, is, this means pro probably we're going to see another opportunity soon. Let's keep our eyes open here because it is looking very interesting. All right. Now, Tesla. This one is losing. Is losing yesterday's low. It is triggering. It just triggered this. This bearish single thing candlestick pattern, which appeared right below the resistance level around $358. So bearish shingle thing below clear resistance level. This is a quite problematic signal for Tesla, suggesting a sharper correction. If you ask me, Tesla is heading towards its next support level around $313 near the 21 day EMA. When we reach this key point, this support area, if we reach this key point, of course, then we'll see how to proceed. As far as I know, any bullish reaction around this area could be another fantastic buying opportunity because again, Tesla is still bullish, all right? And uh, guys, we always use technical analysis to improve our chances of success, all right? Remember, trading is reactive. It is not predictive. We can't tell the future, but we can react properly to what we see. Th there is not a single there is not a single tool in the realm of the financial markets capable of helping you predicting the future. Technical analysis, fundamental analysis, tape reading, there is not a single tool, all right? What's the most important thing over here? What why do we use technical analysis? First, to help us developing a nice risk management strategy, okay? For risk management, technical analysis is perfect. What's more, we use it to 
increase our chances of success. It is not a flawless tool, but we can increase our, chance, our chances of success. And by managing risk properly, we can do two things, all right? Either every single time you make money, your wins are going to cover your losses when you lose money because eventually you, you are going to lose money, okay? We all lose money eventually sooner or later, but your wins must be bigger than your losses, all right? And this is the only way to survive in this market. And uh, you can do this by managing risk properly and, of course, by increasing your chances of success. So, if you don't have a validated strategy and uh, would like to learn more about my technique, then I invite you to take part in the 5% project where you get a complete ebook on technical analysis where you learn in detail how to correctly trade the main patterns of technical analysis. In addition, you have access to our private group where I apply the book's teachings in practice on a daily basis, sharing signals and trading strategies on a wide variety of stocks. It is the best place for you to learn because we are a skin in the game community who apply apply it in practice and we share our trades in real time. It is totally free to try. For more details, check out our website, link in the video's description. All right, so guys, as far as I know, Tesla has more chances of seeking its support levels than reacting, but we'll see. O only if we see a miraculous bullish reaction closing above today's high, all right, making a crystal clear bottom signal above above the moving average, then all right, maybe Tesla is gonna continue its bullish sentiment, making a signal, a bottom signal, just like this one from November 15, all right, and uh, it could just break the resistance level around $358 and seek the $384 or maybe even, maybe even the all-time high next, in the next few weeks. All right, so for now, let's pay attention on these two key points, $358 and $314 area. Okay, these are our most important support and resistance levels in Tesla. Now, AMD looks quite interesting because AMD is trying to make a bottom signal above the 132. It is not that clear yet, but it could be. This reaction leaving a huge shadow below the candlestick's body is quite suggestive. This could be a bottom signal. On the weekly chart, we are struggling a lot around this support area made by this purple trend line. Remember, guys, this trend line is more like a support area. Okay, it is not perfect because, oh, Nathan, we are losing the trend line right here this week. Yes, we are. But remember, it is a support area. It is not a magic line that is going to hold the price with, with a millimetrical precision. Okay, so it is more like a support area. Right now, we are trying to react. Okay, we are trying to. We are still below the... The, the daily moving average, we are still below the 139 resistance level. There, there are still a few resistance levels to break, but this reaction is quite interesting, maybe even promising. Palantir is, well, Palantir is making a very, very shy movement today, stabilizing its price near yesterday's high, near yesterday's close. On the weekly chart, there is not a single top signal. We are still maintaining the bullish bias. On the daily chart, no top signal as well. The 21-day EMA is approaching the price nicely. The price is supposed to retest this moving average sooner or later, but apparently it seems like the moving average is trying to catch up with the price, all right? So let's see how Palantir is going to behave. It is still very bullish. There is not a single bearish reaction suggesting a pullback or, or even a, a crystal clear reversal, okay? It is still very bullish. Nathan, what's the key inflection point in Palantir? If we lose the $63.89, we're gonna lose momentum on the daily chart, reinforcing the idea of a pullback on the daily chart, all right? So let's pay attention on this key support level. As long as you stay above it, fantastic. Palantir will maintain the bullish bias. Now, you guys are worried about Bitcoin. 
because Bitcoin is quite crazy right now. Uh, this one dropped, dropped from roughly $100,000 to the support level around $91,000, dropping 8%. However, apparently, we just found a support level above the previous top level over here, which is better seen on the one hour chart. All right, here we see a crystal clear resistance level, crystal clear top level acting right now as a support level. Another example of the, of the principle of polarity in technical analysis. Today, we see an amazing bullish candlestick pattern. Well, guys, as long as we stay above the 91,000, fantastic. Bitcoin will maintain the incredibly insane bullish bias intact. It is not going to be easy to reject today's bar okay which has a support level around 91 dollars 91 91 thousand dollars okay 91.8 thousand dollars all right by losing this key point by rejecting this bar okay bitcoin will probably most likely trigger a sharper correction on the weekly chart making a top signal on the weekly chart but so far 91.8 k that's the most important inflection point on Bitcoin, right? Only by losing it, Bitcoin will reverse the midterm bullish bias. As long as we stay above it, fantastic. Bullish momentum still intact. Deal? Now, super microcomputer. This one over here is, <laughs> is trying to make a top signal. All right. Yesterday's candle is a classic, is a classic below the stomach candlestick pattern, which is a quite reliable bearish reversal candlestick pattern. However, we got to lose yesterday's low and preferably close below yesterday's low in order to trigger a sharper correction, possibly to one of its Fibonacci's retracements over here. We have the 38.2 near the 21 day EMA, by the way. So this is going to be a very important support level, the 50% and we have the 61.8%, which is another technical support level from November 20, November 19 over here. All right, so these key points will probably act as our next support levels on super microcomputer. Any bullish reaction above one of these lines will be very, very interesting because we could see a bottom signal and possibly a hint, a, a hint that the market is going to continue its bullish sentiment over here. So these key points are going to be critical for super microcomputer next week all right and of course we have neo dropping severely today we are going up but we don't see any meaningful bullish reaction there is not a single bottom signal if you ask me neo is heading towards the three dollars and 68 cents next all right there is not a single bullish reaction suggesting otherwise so for now if you want to buy neo let's wait for a clear bottom signal for now no clear bottom signal yet if we see even if we see a bottom signal we have a technical resistance level around four dollars and 97 cents near the five dollars slightly above the 21 day ema okay so even if we see a bounce we should be very careful because this area is going to be our next technical target and a resistance level for Neo. Let's watch it very closely. I'm going to keep you guys updated every single day in this channel. Therefore, if you are still watching this video for roughly 18, 19 minutes so far, dude, it is too late for you. You did enjoy the content. I know it. You know it. So consider subscribing because again, we are here every single day talking about many stocks together, studying the market together. So consider subscribing, click the like button to support me as well. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. See you guys next week. Have a great holiday.